Welcome to the Vicara Sport GT. We're on the round nine, guys. This thing has gotten heated. It is amazing. We're at the Sunrise Temple uh, on a bright and shiny day uh, with a bunch of guys ready to race. FX Shed today has made the pole position uh, with a great lap time today. Uh, our our part time today is 52 seconds. Uh, some of our guys actually did break par, and they happen to be the points leaders. And the players got together and said that they wanted those guys to stay in the race. They were only about a second, about a half a second or so off. One guy was only .1 off, so I didn't feel like punishing people for, um, you know what I mean, especially when they're we have like a good challenge going. So, so here we go. We're tight, tight, tapping into the list here, and then there it is. So welcome to the race. Oh, so we're gonna start today with Rams, who ends up in the third position. So the guys that are the points leaders are actually in the back of the pack, and Team Chris, who wants that championship, is up in front, and she's not far off. And we have a big, thick, full field today of 12 people. Things are getting heated already, guys. They're coming right in on each other here. Good stag staggered course here. I think it was funny that Shed uh, was doing the competition he was doing today. And uh, the thing is, is I guess everybody's going to be looking out for RPM for one. Here's RPM. But the other person I wanted to look out for, uh, where was it? Was Shaney. Shaney was doing really well today. Uh, but I think he might actually... Uh, he might break time, par time to get it, which is going to hurt. It's not what he well, not, not what he wants to do. We get a little tightness here in the top group. Team Chris bumps RPM. Well, RPM bumps teams Chris. So let's go with RPM real quick. Let's see what he's got going on. He seems to have moved up really fast here. Taking over that top position. And way off the track. Let's see his time. Our, oh man, a 51. Already blown the par time for his, his car. So let's... What do we got here? Oh, sorry. Going to go back to Team Chris. And where we got the pack here? So we have Rams. There goes him. Okay, so we got Rams is in here. In the third, he's taking over the second position. I want to see this pack back here. We got Ch oh, look at Cheney. See, that's the thing is he's faster, guys. The first lap, they get a big opportunity to catch up because they can run full speed. And that looks like death right behind him, is it? Yes, it is, sixth position. Death already up here in the sixth position. Moving back, look at that. There's Shaney taking over Team Chris's position. Man, I, I just wanna follow, this is the points leader right now. I just wanna follow him for a second. He was throwing down the speed when we were racing uh, for, the, for the first race. And really just like throwing it down full speed. It was amazing to watch him race. Uh, and it was very competitive. It was kind of me, him, and Shaney Boy that uh, put it in. But we kept getting squirrely right out of the um, the third or fourth turn. And uh, it was crazy. Going wide, kind of crashing, getting Montana. There's our, there's our two points leaders right there. So let's look at that. Oh, and a 48. All right, so RPM is uh, deciding that he's going to do whatever he wants to do today. Okay. 
this this is gonna be pretty crazy looking right here I'm, I'm really wondering how this is gonna pan out we're gonna go let's see we're gonna go over to Shaney boy Oh, look at that hit. That was not good. Was that Shaney that hit him or was it Fess? I really want to get, that's the thing is, is I want to get, uh, we got a, we got a good group here and I'm really happy about the, the, the layout we have, um, the showing up when we have players that have made it uh, 10 races here. I can't think both you, the viewers that have showed up over and over again to race this competition. It, it was amazing. To have you, the everybody involved. Um, I mean, this is just race nine, and and look at this, like just full of everybody, just putting everything into it. Oh, and Andrews had a problem with his car, and he's out. Whew. So who do we have here? Team Chris. Team Chris is up there with Shaney. Is that the one two? No, yep, yeah, that's the one two right there. Got a 51 from Shaney. Let's see how far Rhymes is back. Team Chris wants this. Oh, right there too. I'm tempted to look. I, I don't even want to like look away for a minute here. Shaney is uh Shaney, man, he was, he just, it kills me to see him just drop one, one spot down. I knew it was going to happen, but uh, let's see. Okay, so that's Death and SAS. They start off with such a strong year, and it really is going to come down to the last race for them. Uh, and I think it's funny because it's going to end up being a Team Chris SAS Montana Death Perception race. Well, the last time we did this, I mean, it's funny because people were telling me about it before about like, well, you know, you do this competitive thing. And what happens when you have, you know, there's always one guy that's, I'll get this thing right here. Here we go. Uh, in most races that you race, you see that one guy who comes out, dominates the track, doesn't, you know, nobody else gets a chance to win, or maybe two guys, and they just really dominate the track. We really started out that that way this year with people who were uh, incredible with their competition. It was really amazing to have them uh, come out and play. Uh, we started off the championship with a three-way tie, first race out, uh, and for the rest of the race here, we saw a competition that was just thunderous like it was really uh was that a bump and run wow death look at that he's got a common sr to contend with there so i don't know if that bump and rub is going to really work with him but um but yeah so we had a little point where everybody was really really tight on points and then uh ricky had a problem he wasn't able to show up for a race we had one person lose their position uh because they broke par and then we had this major sas montana battle with uh death perception where death just took the, the reins to the top of the race and just ran with it and um oh man that was rough i think he's been banging him for a little bit there he let him go that was good but um but now that we have that it's we've come down once again to this ending where it's like we got points that are together again. Like they're just, they're not that far off. Um, and it's really cool to see this competition go the way it has gone. And then you see more people kind of jockeying for their position. Shaney boys already said he wanted to be way more involved. He had a couple of problems, uh, with the race before. So that was unfortunate for him. Um, uh, we want to see him back. 
uh, and be able to do a full season. I'm sure we will in the future. Um, and we're kind of settling into our, our, you know, the first, if you will, free lobby that we have here, uh, which is 15 players. I want to do something um, where if we have some more players that want to be more consistent with the racing and, and put in a, a full season, uh, we usually don't get, you know, we get the random full rooms or whatever. Uh, but that thing is, is these usually don't support much more than 15 players. There's a reason that Rockstar did but Yeah, Team Chris, you going to get it? Is she going to get it? Team Chris with a 52 still. Yeah, she takes that front position out and is still at a 52-second lap. So here is Team Chris with the lead. And uh, kind of running away with it. So is this the time she's going to catch up in points? I don't know. It's going to be tough. Let's go back. SAS Montana. See, really the trick here is getting death. Death needs to be at least fifth position or higher. And then the modifier will do all the work for him. That's really going to be the trick. Is uh, he's got so oh, he's got a lot of distance to make up. It looks like he probably had some sort of accident. He and I were both, like I said, in the practice we were one, two, three with Shaney and um we, me and him were, I was race, racing the Jester Classic and he was racing this car and he was just all sorts of squirrel. He was having serious problems with it. So it wasn't very much fun. Oh, it looks like somebody clashed with somebody else. Did somebody wipe Chris out? Team Chris is in sixth. Oh my gosh, what happened? rammed again who was this is this was that death again oh man now we have a points thing here I don't even know how to say it now we got Montana up and fourth and he's off by himself yep there's death so let's go up to Montana real quick So there's the front pack over there. So we got Ricky Bobby. Ricky, who was uh, against, the, he was one of the first three guys in the first point standings. He ended up missing a race and dropping back. I'm thinking that Uncle Fest had the. Uh, issue with that crash and he's now feeling really bad so I think he's just pulled over to the side of the race uh, to let everybody race. That's unfortunate. Didn't expect. There's Shaney boy. Didn't expect the top three to kind of keel out like that. Oh, Ricky's banging on the wall here. I know he's got a pariah. He worked hard during uh, practice today uh, to get that car to come together for him so that he could actually use it. It was hilarious seeing him use it. and But it was, hey, it's worth it, right? It's coming up in this position. I mean, every, whoever saw the pariah that would, didn't have any power to... Uh, to get around the the edge here and, and do some do some damage when it's racing, but yeah, here we go. Here we have a pariah and what? Yeah, Ricky's in ninth with that pariah with a 52. So we got one person. Oh, actually, Shed has gone to 51 too, but that's okay. Most everybody's done 52s, which is great. 
14, Chris. I'm going to drop back to because this really is, even though this leader race is really a big deal, the big deal is right here. Team Chris needed. Team Chris needed that big points push. That. That I don't know. He's he, Death's in a good position, but Team Chris did did wanted to push a lot further forward than where she's at right now. I know. And there's Montana, good solid distance ahead. Yeah, so it looks like we were talking to Ricky there for a second, and uh, he is not happy with this car. Um, he did a downgrade to it and um, dropped too much of his speed to get back to where he was. Oh, death into the wall. That's the other thing. So you see you right there. And that's I, I hate to say it, it's kind of um, it's kind of desperation. You get into that. You push, push, push. Uh, and then you, and it breaks free. And once it breaks, it's tough to pull it back in. Still getting squirrely. So I just had to make a move. There was um, we had one player that I don't I, I appreciate ah death. Um, we had one person that moved off the track to do us a favor, but it, it wasn't a good spot for him to leave. So we had to we had to tell him to move. And unfortunately, this race is not long enough to get yellow flags at. I know it doesn't seem it, but it is. Here's our guy M Royal. Who uh, we don't get to feature enough. I know. I just, I always like him being involved in these races. He's such a solid racer. I mean, you can tell. Uses that Spectre Custom every race, and we love seeing it. We love having him out. Uh, did a great show in some of our other series. So if you get a chance to go to the website, uh, Fukara Sport GT. Uh, Weebly. Com, I think, or dot net, one or the other. Um, I told you guys I was bad at advertising. Uh, you can check out these guys as they uh, we put race after race up there in the coverage and uh, and you can see the entire series of not just this but Sprunk uh, Extreme One Cup Atomic World Challenge which will be making a comeback uh, and we're actually working on um, I'm working on another series right now where it's a basically you have to get sponsored uh, to race in it and you just, it'll be based on the sponsorship of your car you have to be able to purchase a car um so I don't know if we'll film that. Uh, we we might wait till it gets a little balanced to see how how messed up it gets for it to uh, to work out. But it'll be fun regardless. And uh, I think we're going to start everybody off in uh, between you and I. Uh, your choice of first cars is the Blista um, or the Futo. So that that should just tell you exactly how uh, how fun the first race will be. So here's Team Chris all by her lonesome out here. I'm guessing she has to keep up with. There's death perception right behind her. But I don't know if they'll be able to make up the distance. We'll, we'll have to see. Jumping right back up to Rhymes with Tate. Rhymes is uh, on the points board. He's got a long way to go with his uh, point standings before he can actually uh, get some competition going for him uh, for winning the, the entire thing, especially with one race to go. But today he's going to get a big boost in points. Uh, with this, I mean, like I said, I just the the sadness here is just going to be that that lap traffic took out Team Chris, and that's yep. I'm sorry that to see it too. The wording that I got was um, that somebody pushed in and pushed her out. And I, if you guys watched her race, uh, I know for a fact she's definitely not the aggressive racer, and it's it's sad.
So this is the guy that's going to be a leader. Now, and I know you're sitting there thinking, well, why isn't RPM the leader? And uh, the reason is, is that 48 is so... He's got basically... 52, so he's got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So even if he makes it in first place, he will lose 12 points to penalties, which will put his point standings in last place no matter where he sits leaving him at a simple one point and uh it's the penalties are the only ways you can get to one point so as long as you made par today your lowest point um which is about let's see five three two so about the ninth position uh which would normally get one point would get two points regardless because just for showing up and staying under par So really, the the first place guy here is Shaney Boy. I don't know if um if he'll be able to beat rounds of tapes. He's got a three point deficit there, but I mean if he gets 12, 11, 10, 9, so he'll get nine, and that will probably leave rounds of tape as the the guy who makes the most points today. Uh, but regardless, I think we got one lap to go, which is cool. Oh, somebody looked like somebody was around right there. So that's Shaney, and then we got rounds of tape. We'll be able to, hopefully, we'll be able to see the different diff distance between uh, these top place finishers and uh, and everybody else. And there comes Shaney around, looking at that. That checkered flag. Hopefully we go right back to Montana. You probably won't. I never get that lucky. <laughs> well, look at that. There we go. We're just finishing away there. There we go. All right, so that's it for today. I want to appreciate everybody who tuned in. we got one more race to go. This is not over yet, and I'm pretty sure with the way the points did today, everything is going to be tight and close together. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked it. I want to thank everybody for tuning in. We'll see you guys soon. Bye.